Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you like the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can implement a traffic light KPI in your table. I've covered traffic light KPIs in the past, but those weren't specific to a table. Uh, and in table, traffic light KPIs are something that people really seem to like. Uh, and there have been ways to do this in the past, but they're really complicated because you had to connect to a web URL and grab an image and pass that image URL in. Uh, it was really complicated, but now with the May 2018 update to Power BI, uh, using traffic light KPIs in your tables is easier than ever. And that's because the May 2018 update allows us to conditionally format a column based on another column. So this is perfect. We can conditionally format the font color of this picture based on some sales amount like this column. So I'm gonna show you how you can get to this result right here with the green, red, and yellow traffic light KPIs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this column because we're not gonna need that. We're gonna build our own. Uh, so I'm just going to add a new column here and I'm just gonna call this uh, KPI light. Uh, and I'm gonna set the equal to unichar. And the number I'm going to use is uh, 11044. 11044 is just a big uh, circle and using unitar returns the basically the unicode representation so uh, unitar 11044 will be a black circle i'm going to throw that into the graph it's actually blue in this case because i have a theme but it's normally a black circle and i'm using the black circle as opposed to a couple other ones because i'm on windows 8 and i will make the distinction that if you're using windows 8 or maybe even windows 7 uh, you need to use a black unichar character. If it's not black, it's not going to work because you're not going to be able to color the font color. But that's pretty specific. I don't think Windows 10 deals with that. So I am going to go ahead and field format uh, our KPI light. And I'm going to make this align to the center just to do that. And then all we have to do to set up the traffic light capability is come back uh, to KPI light, right click and go to conditional formatting. I'm going to go to font color scales because we're going to change uh, change the font color. That's going to change the actual color of the circle. So if I click on that, then I have a bunch of different options here. We now have this new feature color based on, and we are going to color based on a different column, the sales amount column, which is the column that's in the second column on our table. So if we color based on sales amount, specifically the sum of sales amount, we can now color um, based on that column. So if we color by rules, actually first I'll just show you how this works. If I just clicked OK, we now see our KPI light changes, but we're going to want something a little more specific than just different colors of our KPI light. So we're going to go back to our conditional formatting, font color scales, and let's color by rules so we can set uh, basically the bins, the ranges that we want to color based on. So we're going to say if the value is greater than or equal to zero, but less than three million, we're gonna make it red. Now I'm gonna make it a very bright red color. Uh, let's add another rule. Let's say if it's greater than or equal to three million, but less than six million, I'm gonna make it yellow. And I'm choosing these uh, numbers because I looked at my data and saw that this would fit. And let's say if it's greater than or equal to six million, but less than 10 million, I'm gonna make that green. And we'll get a nice bright green color. All we have to do is click okay, and we get our traffic light capability here. Um, that looks pretty good. And if we slice, uh, it'll use the same logic. Uh, basically now they're all the smallest bin, so it's red. We can keep clicking until maybe we get some more colors in there. But we get the functionality that we really want. So I've created a calculated column. You could also do this with a measure. So I'm gonna create a new measure. Uh, I'm gonna call this measure KPI. And if we did the exact same one, uh, what was it, 11014? And we threw that in there. I'll give you a look at what happens here. It's a little bit different. No, it's not 114. It's 11044. Sorry, 11044. Um, so we'll see the same thing here without the conditional formatting, but we actually have a circle here at the bottom. That's because measures will uh, evaluate the same in the grand total row as they do for all the other filter rows. So the way we do that, uh, the way we get around that is the same as always. Do an if has one filter, and I'll do the geography. Um, we'll do English 
country region name. If it does have a filter, use the unichar. If not, we'll throw in a blank. That gets rid of that measure total unichar. So once we click okay, we see that that's gone and we will go through the exact same steps to set up the, uh, the traffic light KPI. I'm not gonna do that, but I'll just set it to diverging based on our sales amount. So that's really the whole idea here. Um, it's really easy to set up traffic light KPIs now because of this May 2018 update. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next Power BI 3 Minute Tip.